Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this series of tutorial, we are going to learn how to develop a fully automated data entry form in Google Sheet and Google Apps Script. And this series has four different parts, and we have already covered the first part. Uh, that is, you know, uh, designing the user interface, uh, validating the inputs, and transferring the data from a uh, user form to a Google Sheet. Okay. So uh, this is the second part of the tutorial where uh, we will learn uh, to write the Google function or Google Apps Script function to add search feature in this project. So let's uh, move to the demo file which I have already developed and see uh, what we have already covered in the first part of the tutorial. Okay, uh, so this is the data entry form which uh, I developed in the first part of tutorial and as of now we have covered the form designing buttons, drop downs and uh, writing the code to validate and you know to transfer the data. So let's uh, move to the script uh, Google script window. So just click on tools and script editor. And in this like employee data entry form script, you can see that uh, we have already covered or written a function that is called validate entry. And the second function is to uh, submit the data basically to transfer the data from user form to a uh, uh, database worksheet. Okay. So let's write new function over here. So let's put comment over here and then function to search the record. Okay, let's declare a function so function then a space and then we need to give the function name search record and then curly braces open and close let's create some room okay so here uh, we need to declare a variable and set with the active Google Sheet uh, reference basically. So we will refer this uh, employee data entry form. So let's put comment over here. So comment is declare a variable and set with active Google Sheet. Okay. So let's declare a variable. So variable would be start with the var keyword. And then we need to provide the uh, variable name. So the variable name would be my in Google Sheet. And here we are going to set with uh, a spreadsheet like a spread a spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Okay. And then open bracket, close bracket, and then semicolon. Now uh, we need to declare one more variable uh, where we will assign the the re reference of user form. So let's uh, put comment here. Declare a variable and set with the user form reference. Okay. So let's start with declaring a variable. So with var keyword and then sh user user form and we need to give the reference of user form which is available in you know my google sheet so my google sheet uh, dot get sheet by name and here uh, we need to provide the name of uh, you know user form so let's user form form okay let's put semicolon to break this line and we uh, need one more variable to uh, reference uh, the database worksheet basically so let's put the comment here declare a variable and set reference of database sheet so var and data data sheet and equal to again my google sheet dot get a uh, sheet by name and here we need to pass uh, the the worksheet name so the worksheet name is on database okay let's put semicolon to break uh, the line now uh, we need to declare a variable to hold the value which uh, we are going to search so uh, for that we need to declare a variable for a string type uh, so where let's give the name as str and you know 
the value is available in the C4 so let me uh, show you so this is the C4 variable uh, reference so we will refer this particular cell to search the record so let's move to the script window and here uh, as you know uh, this C4 is available in user form so we have already declared a variable that is sh user form so let's refer sh user form dot get range and the value is available in uh, c4 basically so let's give the reference of c4 dot get value so what it will return it will return the value which is available in uh, range c4 okay so now uh, we are going to refer the range where our uh, data is getting transferred basically so entire range so for that we need to declare a variable so let's put comment over here so getting uh, the entire values from the used range and assigning it to value variable and it's values okay and let's declare a variable so var var is the keyword to declare the variable and the uh, variable name is values equal to and we need to search we need to basically uh, the use range is available in data sheet so data sheet dot get data range and then dot get values okay so here we are referring the entire range where data is available okay now we uh, need to declare a variable to store whether data has been found or not so for that uh, we will utilize the boolean type variable so let's var and then values okay and let's initialize this variable with false so assuming that uh, there is no match basically okay so let's put semicolon to break this line and here uh, we can put a comment so that we can identify the purpose or you know purpose of declaring uh, this variable so variable to store boolean values okay so now uh, we have done with the required variables so let's start uh, with you know oh, for loop so here for and you know here we need to declare a variable uh, to initialize like where i is equal to zero and then semicolon i is less than values dot length so we are utilizing this variable so we will uh, loop through each and every cells available in this values uh, range okay and semicolons and i plus plus so we are increasing by one uh, let's uh, curly braces and this create some room so here uh, we need to declare a variable where we will store uh, every cell value and after that we will validate whether it's matching with uh, you know uh, the value which we have assigned in str variable or not so for that let's declare a variable var and the row row value is equal to values and then here just because the value is array it contains a lot of you know uh, cells so here we need to pass i so we are referring the first cell so let's put comment here so declare a variable and storing the value okay so let's uh, let's uh, start writing the code or uh, basically if condition uh, to match whether the row value the value available in row value is matching with str or not okay so let's put comment here uh, checking the first value of the record so let's uh, start with if uh, statement and here uh, we need to match you know so it's a row or uh, value and just because it's array then zero so here we are referring you know so zero is equal to this variable the str where we have assigned the c4 values if this is equal to str it means the value is 
found like the record is available in the data sheet okay so let's write the code here to assign you know uh, the found record in in this range like employee id employee name and all this so sh user form dot get range and the range is uh, we need to start with the c7 dot set value and here uh, row value and just need to pass zero because zero is uh, like employee id is available in the first uh, cell of that array okay and let's put semicolon so this is for basically uh, here uh, c7 is for employee id that's uh, c9 c11 c13 15 and 70 so we need to increase by 2 basically so let's copy this and paste it for employee name so it's a gender for email id so department and address okay so let's increase this uh the column uh the row number basically so c7 then c9 and then it will become c11 then 13 and then 15 and then c17 so let's c17 okay now we need to increase the uh, the array element by one basically so first would be employee id the name like that so it's two three four and five okay so we are done with uh, the writing the code to assigning the values so okay so let's uh, return some values so return is equal to like simple so basically we need to come out from uh, from this uh, this loop basically or maybe you can say that uh, search function so loop so once value will, uh, will get found uh, then uh, we need to come out from this uh, for loop okay so let's close this for for loop and here so in case if the value you are looking for in database is not available then what we need to we uh, uh, need to uh, uh, keep it in the, like false so let's copy this variable the variable values found and here uh, we need to assign with true it means the value is available in database and if this particular uh, you know if a statement will not be true basically so what it will do it will keep the values found as false so it will not you know change the values found variable with true so let's uh, check whether values is found or not so if value found is equal to false it means uh, we need to prompt a, mes a message to use it that okay uh, this the the database or the data which you are looking for is not available in the database sheet okay so let's uh here we need to declare a variable that would be for user interface so let's put comment to create the instance of the user interface environment to use the alert function okay so let's declare a variable so variable uh, variable name would be user interface a spreadsheet app dot get ui okay and here we need to uh, show that uh, so the alert dot ui dot al alert and the alert would be uh, no record found okay put semicolon here so we are uh, done with creating the search function and here uh, we will utilize the search function 
so on like employee data entry form so let's copy this name and go to the employee data entry form and what we need to do we need to assign that search function script on this uh, search button so let's click on search and then click on triple dots available uh, to the right side and then assign a script and then copy uh, paste the name which we have already copied the search record and click on ok ok so let's move to the database and see how many records we have so uh, currently we have only one records and the employee id is 123 so let's move to the user form and let's put 123 as you know employee id and let's click on search a script function search record could not be found okay i think we need to save this okay uh, so let's uh, save this uh, save this project and uh, so you can see that it's a showing syntax error unexpected token i think we have extra curly braces so let's uh, go to the line number two to three so i think we have an extra line of uh, code here basically the curly braces now let's uh, save this so it seems uh, everything is okay now let's move to the form here and let's click on a search so here you can see that uh, the search function is uh, working perfectly uh, in our project so this is all about the second part of tutorial uh, where we learned how to create a function to search the record basis on the uh, entry uh, or values passed by user okay uh, please refer the description box to find the link of first part of the tutorial along with the google form and the scripts thanks for watching let's move uh, on to the next part of the tutorial